What's up guys, the old school era of brick and mortar banks is coming to an end with all these new online banks. And with these new online banks comes new opportunities and new options. Two of the best online banks right now are Ally and SoFi. In this video, we're gonna do a review of Ally. And real quick, before I go any further, I just wanna say this is not financial advice. Everything in these videos is my opinion and how I feel about these banks. You should also make sure you do your own research because these numbers can change month to month or week to week even. So a lot of the times the percentage I give in a video like this might be different than what it actually is at the time you're watching this video. But well, without any further ado though, the biggest reason a lot of people might be interested in Ally Bank is the high yield savings account of 4.25%, which right now compared to some of the banks is a little bit on the lower end, but it's still really comparable and really good investment. It would be a really excellent place to store your emergency fund. As far as the pros for Ally Bank go, there's no minimum deposits and there's no monthly fees. It also allows you to do unlimited withdrawals and transfers. Ally Bank also offers some really cool tools in their savings account. And one of those tools that a lot of people tend to like is something they call buckets. Basically, these buckets are a visual aid and they help you to see what you're saving for. Say you put $100 into your savings account and you want to allocate 10% towards saving a house in the future. It'll take that $100 that you deposit into your account and then put the $10 of it into a bucket. So the same $100 is still in one location, but you can visually see that you have $10 set aside for the house. Another feature that I really like about the high yield savings account on Ally is that you can set the recurring transfers. So on a weekly basis, you take a percentage out of everything you're making and it automatically takes it and puts it in your savings account. So you're saving money and you don't even have to really think about the fact that you are saving money. I find when you do this and you set it and forget it, it accumulates much faster. It doesn't actually accumulate faster at all, but watching it uptick without having to do any work is still a really nice feeling. Another feature that Ally does is it automatically does surprise savings for you, where it analyzes your checking account and will withdraw money from your checking account into your savings account that it thinks that you should save, or it thinks that is extra. I think for some people that might be an additional thing that is really good, but I think if you're really disciplined with your money and you have regular schedules and you're constantly on top of it, it's not something I would personally want to be done. This should go without saying, but I should say it, it is FDIC insured, so it is insured up to 250000 Like I said in the beginning, this bank is 100% digital, so if you want to go to a brick and mortar store, then this is definitely not going to be the option for you. But if you're still banking at most credit unions, this is going to be a much higher percentage rate. Overall, I don't think you can go wrong with Ally Bank. I think it's a really good option for most people. Although if you're after a high APY for your savings account, there's definitely going to be other banks out there that offer higher savings. One would be my personal favorite, which would be SoFi Bank. And the other bank that offers a really good rate is right now is CIT Bank. Right now is the greatest time that I've seen in my lifetime where you can put money into a savings account and it's actually generating a decent amount of income. The amount of income generated from some of these savings accounts is comparable to a treasury bond or even competing some of these treasury bonds and CDs. With that said, I think a savings account is a really great place for your emergency fund, but there's still way better investments out there like doing index funds in the stock market where you're going to see an average of 8 to 12% in recurring every year. It's an extremely safe and extremely liquid option for your money. So if you're not capitalizing on a high yield savings account right now, then you definitely should be. Whether it's at Ally, SoFi, CIT, or any other banks that offer good rates, I think you should choose one. I hope this video was useful, guys, and I really appreciate you watching. And if you enjoyed this video, please subscribe. I'm always making videos on business and finance. Thank you so much for watching and have a wonderful day.